Okay, so that's the basic idea behind FX Factory. So let's get in and take a look at the first of the two featured effects that we're going to be looking at. Uh, and this one is MoType. So we're going to be working in After Effects, but as I said, you know, all of these effects also work exactly the same way, pretty much in Final Cut Pro and Motion. So in fact, basically in all of the other hosts that you can, you can work with FX Factory in. So let's just open up and go into MoType and let's just have a look at what that's, uh, what that's doing. So even with the basic little filter there and the default settings of it, um, what we've got is we've got some motion type. So this is, you know, something that's going on in motion already. Now, one of the great things is we do have a whole load of presets to, to choose from just to see, you know, some of the things that we can actually be working with and be doing. Uh, so let's look at some of these. Let's look at glowing lines. So you can get quite a, a wide range of looks. That's two 3D motion zero one. Quite a, a wide range of looks with this single effect. Uh, and I think one of the, the actual really good things that we're going to do with this is to be starting from one of these there we go. I actually really like this uh, this sort of motion blurry look coming in there. Yeah, it's um, one of the, the great things that we can start with one of these presets and actually then go in and customize this a whole load to get it looking exactly how we want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Shadow 720 and let's have a little look at what that's doing. So that's bringing the type in. We've got this little... Um, background coming in as well, the, the particle background coming in. And I think that's actually quite a nice little um, starting place to work with because we can now come in and we can customize this exactly how we want it to really quite quickly. So let's come over here to our um, effects control panel and uh, we can we can obviously change things like the um, like the font and all of that. Of course, we can do that. So let's get this looking how we want it to impact is quite good. Can make it a little bit smaller or a bit bigger. There we go. And we can just type in what text we want it to do, have in here. So let's type in filmmakers. Cool. And that updates immediately, obviously. And let's come in and what we can start to do is we can start to change the way that it starts to bring in the letters. So one of the um, the helpful little things that we've got going on is we've got everything pretty much within a single area here. So we can sort of click these all off and actually look at the uh, the individual sections that we want to work on at any one time. And we've always got you know the the big help sat there right in front of us. So we can always uh, come in and if we can't figure out something, then we can always come in and go to the help. But let's go to uh, the first bit, which is the uh, motion mixer. So this is how stuff is actually coming in at the moment. And because it's all automated and all, or working without the um, without keyframes here at the moment, we can change all of this up. And again, without we don't have to um, we don't have to come in and make all those uh, keyframes if we don't need it to be. Uh, so here with the motion mixer, the duration of this is how we're going to start to bring stuff on. So at the moment, we've got it coming in at 24 frames. If we extend this out to 50, you can immediately see that's coming in a lot slower than it was before. It's now taking two seconds to come in rather than one second. But I think if we bring everything in on, on one second, I'm working at 25 frames a second here. That's working out nicely for me. Another thing I want to do is I can change actually how the opacity comes in. So I can either have it so it's fading in from absolutely nothing I'm fading in there or what I want to do is actually just bring this up so I'm going to have some really big effect coming in now if we look at the first frame obviously this um, this decision has had a big impact on how our first frames looking because all of the text is on stage or on the on the screen from the very beginning and that's really not what I want it to uh, want it to do so again we can just come down to our position down here 
and we can then adjust that up so it's out of the way.